Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. First of all, I just want to address that I always say Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I think it's so funny because I, in my mind, I'm saying it correctly but a lot of people comment on my accent and the way I say channel I just think it's funny, I just don't know how to say it correctly Okay, now we passed the channel part, we can start with the video and I was running out of ideas and I decided to ask you on my Instagram what you guys wanted to see You guys know I have a deep love for anime so a lot of you guys were like give us something anime related and I actually did a TikTok where I created some outfits inspired by some of my favorite anime characters and a lot of people like that video on TikTok and as for part 2 so I decided to combine these things and do like a part 2 for TikTok and make an entire YouTube video about anime looks as well so in that video I recreated Todoroki from My Hero Academy also Itachi of course, I love Itachi from Naruto also I did Ishiki from Food Wars, which is one of my fave characters, I just think he is the cutest and finally Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul and today I have some brand new characters for you all that I think you guys are going to love I really want to get inspired by the colors and overall design of the clothes but try to make it fashion, try to make it like streetwear, something that I could really wear not like cosplay, I have nothing against cosplay by the way I just wanted to make something different and try to take this anime characters and bring it to fashion without further ado, let's jump into the video So the first character that I'm gonna be recreating the look today is none other than Inata from Naruto If you guys know me for a while, you probably know that I absolutely love Inata I feel we connect in some way and I really wanted to recreate her look but I didn't want to go to like the first Naruto seasons when she was very young I want to go to where I like Inata's look the most which is Naruto Shifuden and I really love this particular look when she appeared in this outfit I was like who is this? she looked so freaking good so sexy, so cool so I'm really really excited to recreate Inata's look so without further ado let's see how I recreate this one I started with this lilac top because Inata always wore something lilac since season 1 so I really wanted something lilac here to bring the Inata vibes to the outfit and this top is actually from Pretty Little Thing and then I combined with this corset here that I have I think it's from Meshki, I have it for a long time she has like a black band here on the outfit so I think it really brings the same aesthetic and then she has some black shorts but like really short shorts I think are not trendy right now and I think they won't be for a long time so I decided to go with this more like mid-length shorts I decided to go with this combat boot from Naked Wolf so I think it brings Inata strength to the outfit I think she's a very strong lady so this is like the full outfit here and I'm really happy with it I think it looks really cool it's a very simple outfit but at the same time, I think it's very, very wearable. I could wear this without a problem with a jacket on or something. And I really feel like it embodies a little bit Inata. I wish my hair was down and had like the full Inata vibe, but the truth is I haven't straightened it today. So yeah, I'm really happy with the Inata inspo for this outfit. I think Inata would be proud. I just did Inata and now the second character that I'm going to recreate the look I think it's actually the hardest one that I'm going to recreate today because it's from Haikyuu and I just watched Haikyuu like two months ago and I absolutely loved it first of all because I used to play volleyball when I was uh, like in high school and stuff I was not very good at it but I really uh, loved volleyball and I just hope that I had Haikyuu back then to motivate me and there's a a lot of different amazing characters in Haikyuu but I wanted to do Nishinoya because he has like the blonde and black hair too so I thought it was cute for me to recreate so usually their team plays with dark blue and orange and he's the one who plays in full orange with a little bit of navy blue on this one I had a little bit of a hard time to think about what I wanted to do I was sure that I wanted the orange and the navy blue of course but I had to go with a full different pieces than shorts and t-shirts so I could have 
a fashionable outfit so yeah let me show you how I recreated this one I think you guys are going to like it all right here it is Nishida Oil's outfit I think I really nailed it with this one because I think it's so hard and I actually ended up really liking the outfit and orange and blue I would never go with this but I think they actually work so I started the outfit with this orange t-shirt right here it's like a rib t-shirt I think it's also from pretty little thing I'm not sure and then this jacket navy hoodie like zip up hoodie and I just placed it right here to give a little blue to the top part as well for the bottoms I went with my Adidas joggers because I think it brings like the volleyball sports uniform vibe to this but at the same time it's still streetwear and very wearable for the shoes i went with my axel arigato sneakers because they are actually really similar to the mizuno sneakers i used to wear for volleyball but they are actually more fashionable and a little bit more heavy so yeah this is the full fit i'm very happy with it and i think it definitely has the vibes and the colors so yeah hopefully it's nishinoya approved Shinoya, I have one of the most exciting characters here on this video and for me I love Attack on Titan and if you love it too you probably are in love with Levi he's such an amazing character he has such a strong aura if anime characters even have an aura but you know what I mean and once again I knew it was a little hard for me to recreate because they're like combat clothes they are war clothes so I came up with a really cool solution and I think you guys are going to really enjoy this outfit let's see how it looks this is my favorite for sure I'm so in love with this outfit I started with the jacket and this one is from Starry and it's basically the same shape more or less than the one he has this is the matching skirt of the jacket and they are both from Starrett and for the top I decided to go with this white top and then this corset here I have this for the longest time so I don't know exactly where it's from but it has that like medieval vibe to it and I'm really loving it I think this one is definitely my favorite for the shoes I went with some really high heel vinyl boots I got this from Aliexpress they are actually on my Aliexpress accessory haul and I love like the height of them and I love that it's so clearly Levi without being too like Halloween or cosplay I hope Levi is proud because I definitely am two more characters left the next one is a girl last time on the last tiktok i only did boys this time i wanted to recreate some girls as well so i decided to go with edina from food wars i really love her character she is so like powerful she grows into you and you kind of really like her personality i think this is the only one that i'm going to try to recreate the pieces as well like she has this uniform school uniform she's always wearing this let's see i really like this one i think it's very classic like japanese high school uniform and i absolutely love their uniform so i really think it's essential on anyone's closet to have like a really simple shirt i really like them they're oversized they go well with anything and i just tucked like half of it under the bra to create a little dimension here and you can clearly see the Skirt. This skirt is actually from Yes Style. I love them because they have like shorts underneath. Then I paired with this black blazer, which is my favorite black blazer. It's also from men's section and it's from Primark. So it was very cheap. I bought it like a size 40 or something to be really oversized. Then I went with this black sheer socks. I absolutely love this pair of socks. I got them from Primark as well, but you also have it in white in Yes Style. And then this loafers here. They are very chunky and cute and I got them from ASOS So this is the full look and I think Irina would probably wear this without a doubt So I think she approves Okay, I look like a big 
business lady now. <laughs> I just wanted to announce like the last, last character that I will recreate this style. And this one, I think you guys are going to freak out if you know him. And this is actually a character that I'm starting to know about because I just started watching Hunter x Hunter. So it's going to be none other than Hisoka. The vibe, the little guitar when he appears, it's so cool. If you haven't started watching, go watch it. I have Hunter x Hunter on my watch list for the longest time and finally I decided to start watching it and I I'm loving it so much, I think it's so cool. So let's see what I can do. And this is the last one. I'm actually very excited about this one. I don't know why, it's very simple, but at the same time, I felt like I didn't need much to get his vibe. So the colors here really make it for me. I started with this top. I really love it because it's like a bra, but it has like, it's backless. It only has like a thin strap over here. And I think it's very pretty and I think it really brings the same thing that he has. Then for the pants, I wanted some white pants and these ones I really love because they are very wide and they have like a split here. These ones are from Pretty Little Thing and they are like velvet. They have like a velvet look and they are off-white. I really love the cream off-white color. And I decided to put something yellow on top on the waist, exactly like he has. Instead of using like a fabric, I decided to put this hoodie on. This is from a brand called 10K. I went with my new New Balance just because they have like a touch of pink right here. So it really goes with the top. So this is the entire outfit. I think it's very simple and he's not a very simple or minimalistic character. But at the same time, I wanted this to be my style and for me to be able to wear it so I wanted to go with a more minimalistic approach I think you would be proud so yeah guys so these were all the five looks of the five characters five characters that I really love from five different anime series that I really love as well thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys like it I hope your anime fans like myself if you're not you're missing out so go check some of these animes that I talked about on this video also let me know in the comments which look was your favorite don't forget to subscribe and like this video and all my social media links are down below if you want to follow and I guess that's it and I see you guys on the next one bye love you